Jennies. Welcome back. It's me, Jenny. How is everyone doing today? I hope you guys are all doing awesome. Okay, honey. So I have a new um, series that I want to work with and I hope you guys are going to like this. I hope, I hope, I hope you guys are going to find it very helpful. And I hope that you guys are going to be entertained. Now I'm going to start working with, um, I'm going to start working on a new mixed media art journaling book, which is this one that I have right in front of me. I have been dying to do this for a very long time. I'm just very busy with work and you know, it's just really hard to kind of like, you know, take time to do these videos, but I am forcing myself to really, really start working on my art journaling because I haven't done it for a very long time and I really want to start doing this. So I want to show you guys in front of me, I have a whole bunch of stuff that I'm going to be using while I'm doing my mixed media art journaling. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this stuff is because I want to let you know that when you see me working on in this book, you're not going to hear me talk. There's probably going to be a lot of music in the background and you're probably just going to see me work my journal book and um or my art journal book and you probably going to see that it's going to be speed up, it's like speed it up you know because you guys know that these art journaling mixed media projects can take a very long time and i don't want these videos to be like three hours long so i thought that maybe if i play some music in the background but you still see me work my journaling book it would kind of help someone who is, you know, maybe trying to learn or just studying up or, you know, just want to see how I work with my uh, art journaling book. Okay. Now, in front of me, I'm going to be using a lot of the stuff that I have um, while I'm working in this book. And I just want to show you because obviously I'm not going to be talking in the video. So in case you guys are like wondering or in case you like, you know, have any questions about what I'm going to be using, let me just run through the stuff that I like to use when I am using my art journaling book. Okay. Now this is going to be a scenery, scenery art journaling because I want to kind of just journal, just work on beautiful scenery, right? I always wanted to do a book on just basically sceneries. So what I'm doing is every time I go in and I see a magazine and I like some kind of like, you know, either a water, ocean, you know, whatever, I cut it out and I put it in a little corner and um, and I knew in my mind that I was going to do a book about it, but I haven't really had the time. So here I'm going to show you a few pictures that we're going to eventually, um, you know, add to my art journal. And I love this one because this is more like a very natural, beautiful with the you know with the trees and the the sky. It's just so pretty. I I always wanted to do one of these like scenery um, art journaling. I don't know why. It just it, it really just caught my attention and you know I just love it so and even here I'm gonna show you I'm also even using a like a this is kind of like a I don't know like a greeting card but look at how beautiful the scenery in a greeting card is it's like a whole bunch of boats with the water excuse me with the water and the sky it just looks so pretty right and I just love that I love it so I have here a few that I just wanted to show you. I do have more upstairs, but this is just to give you an idea of what we're going to be doing. So that's what we're going to do. The book that I'm using is this one in front of me. I like this book because the pages are very thick. They're very durable. Even if you use like gesso or you use like, you know, watercolor pencils or watercolor, um, um, uh, watercolor paint, it, it holds amazing so i really really like this book and this is kind of like the smaller version of i have a really big one i have a smaller one and then i have this one this is a medium and the size of this book is seven by ten 
it's very very good for art journaling especially for mixed media I really like this a lot so that's what we're going to use now I also love using my gelatos I am obsessed with these gelatos I, I almost forgot how much I love them because I haven't used these for a, quite some time and I love how these work they're so easy to work with all you need to do is just you know apply to whatever you know object you're working with add some water and boom th there it is you know it's just absolutely gorgeous absolutely easy and it's just one of my favorite things to use when I'm doing mixed media okay so we're using that I'm also using another one of my favorite things which are my Heidi Swab um, color shine I love using these these are so 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 awesome to use I love them I definitely recommend if you are like a beginner in like mixed media definitely get a few of these Heidi Swabs they're awesome they're very easy to work with as as well as these gelatos okay um you will probably also see um me using this um <clears throat> all-in-one glue and finish i'm using this because i have a whole bunch of these i have like four or five of these bottles um i had bought them in clearance and michael's a very long time ago and so you're probably gonna see me using a lot of this and you also gonna probably see me use a lot of the gesso okay I don't use gesso too much because I kind of like to use this one but you probably see me use a little bit of both um, I'm going to be using obviously some um, some brushes I am not really like I am not at all in any shape or form an expert in mixed media I just buy brushes that feels good to me I mean I, you know I'm not really one of those people that are really picky with brushes um, if it's on sale and it feels nice I like to buy them and most of my brushes I buy at um, AC more because I, I, I kind of like the way they feel I kind of like how you know you hold it in your hand and it feels right and that's what I go with I don't really you know go with like the fabric or like the fibers or anything like that I mean I guess if you are into mixed media and you do this maybe for a living um, you probably would want to know you probably would want to be more familiar with the fibers and the brush and you know all that stuff but again I do it for fun so I'm not exactly an expert in it um okay so you are probably gonna see me use my I never use this. This is a, this is something that I have always like. I wanted to get for such a long time, and then when I got it, I never even used it. But anyway, my watercolor sketch box. I love this. Um, I bought this one at AC Moore quite a long time ago, and it's just it's really convenient. It's absolutely awesome for like beginners. It has this little like. You know this little thing that you can actually just put your watercolor in here you can spray some water and you can just kind of like dilute it and you know play around with it I love it it comes with its own little um which I'm really surprised but it, it comes <clears throat> with its own water brush which is awesome it comes with a little spongy here and these are the colors I love this little set I haven't used it I'm going to probably use it in um, this upcoming um series but yeah it's it's one of those things that definitely i would recommend um to get if you are into you know mixed media um okay that's that the other thing that i am super obsessed with and i cannot wait to use this neon color water um, pencil or water paste I love this thing I bought this thing in um I think it's called blink um, it's kind of like a like an office store that sells a lot of like art artsy stuff 
and um, I hunted this down. I was so obsessed with trying to get this and I could never have ever, like when I was looking for this, I was never able to find it. And I found, I went into the store one day and I asked the guy, do you guys, cause they have these in different colors. They have them in different, um, like different colors. This is the classic and this is 30, um, 30, um, you get 30 in here and this is just a classic, but there are other ones that have these beautiful pastel colors that I am dying to get. So I, I would love to get that. But anyway, I got these for now and I never use them, but they are beautiful. I've seen them used. I've seen them use them in um, YouTube and it's just really gorgeous. I love it. A little bit pricey, but it's definitely, definitely worth it. You see me use this in my videos and you will also see me use my little um watercolor paint i love this this is very inexpensive i bought this at um michael's and i also have the one that's pearl pearlized it's absolutely awesome i love this this is really good to use especially if you are beginners this is awesome to like practice recommended a, a lot i mean this is really good the other thing that I am probably going to use in my series is this, oh my God, these watercolor pencils I absolutely love. Oh, they're called Intense. These are so freaking awesome. I love, I could, I, I, like I used to be obsessed with these watercolor pencils. Um, and they're so awesome. They're so like pigment i mean these are like absolutely gorgeous gorgeous the colors are so true to what they are and it's just one of those like one of those things that you definitely want to invest in okay i'm gonna probably use this in my um in my series and then the other things that i'm going to use is going to probably be things that you probably already have at home that most of us probably throw out, don't even think about saving, but I'm telling you right now, if you have these things or if you happen to come across these things, throw, don't throw them out, save them because they're so easy to work with. And what I'm talking about is, um, for example, I like to save my tickets, my, uh, you know, parking tickets or my movie tickets. I love saving them. I put them in a little pouch like this and I just save them. I keep collecting them because these are awesome to do art journaling with. They're great. They're free. I mean, they're awesome. They give you a, your layout such a wonderful look. Um, and it's just a really, you know, it's a it's a way to save money you know you gotta it could be expensive to um you know get involved in like art media and you know art and, and, and mixed media stuff it could get pretty pricey so if you can save money why not okay i love saving that i also love saving these um <laughs> I mean, you do you guys remember these back in the days? These are like, I love these. I love saving these as well because they make awesome little layouts, especially for um, mixed media, even for like regular like project life layouts and everything like that, you can use those as well. The other thing that I love to use um, that nobody really thinks about, but I think this is a fantastic, I mean, how could you not? It's free, by the way, are all these little um, perfume samples. Just save them. Look at this Chanel one. Can you imagine if you do like a nice layout and you have Chanel in the back? I mean, I, ha I have another one in here that's really pretty. Um, let's see. Like this one, see? Imagine you do like a pretty layout and you have like some of these in the background. They're so awesome to use, not to mention that they're, they're absolutely free. Why not? You know, you go into like Nordstrom, you go into all these fancy like department stores and they have these little things for sale, like they have them out for samples. You know, grab a few of them. It's not gonna like, it's not gonna be a big deal. 
Um, and so I like to grab these little um, perfume samples because they're awesome. They're awesome to use for your layouts. I also like to save some of these little um, button uh, little cards. These are awesome to use as well. Ay, my camera is so bright today. But you see, these are like little button cards. These are awesome to save. I never throw these out, especially the vintage ones because these little pieces you can absolutely use in your layouts. I mean, they're awesome. They, they give so much pretty character to your layout. It's really awesome. So don't throw these out if you have some of these button. Don't throw them out. They're awesome to have. Um, also, like, you know, tags from clothing. If that catches your eye, just save them. Don't throw them out. They're awesome to use. Let's see. What else do I have in here? I have tons of stuff in here. Because, you know, you always try to find ways to save money, right? At least I do. I don't know about you guys, but I don't have money to be going and spending on all this stuff. So if I can save money, why not? Um, I also love to buy, to get these. I don't buy them, by the way. I um, take them from Starbucks, but it's free. They sometimes have these, um, like, fancy uh, coffees, and they have... Like, for example, like, what, where's the coffee from? Oh, this, this light is horrible today. But you see there, it shows you where the coffee is from. But I was interested in this here. Look how gorgeous this is. Can you imagine putting this in a layout? I mean, it's beautiful. So what you got to do is just cover this, this coffee sign over here. They cover it. Cover it with, like, another paper. Or another, I don't know, like, maybe, um... You can probably cover it with a, a tag or something, you know? It's very easy to do. But look how pretty this, this this background is. And then you got this one, you got this blue one with the with these like birds. And you got this really pretty one and this really pretty one. So these are things that you you know you probably don't even think about, but you can always use them in layouts, okay? Um, another thing that I love to use in my layouts, which I never throw out, are these little, um, these little things that come with stickers. These are kind of like the backings of the stickers or like embellishments. Um, this is actually a frame from Michael's that I bought a, a long time ago, but I kept the actual package because it's so awesome to use in your layouts. It's pretty, it's a very good size. And you can back this onto another, like a picture or, you know, an image or whatever. But it's awesome to use. These are really good to use. Um, I also have these that I don't throw out. Again, little baggies. These are always good to have. And then, um, let's see what else I have in here. See, this one is from Recollection. But look at the texture on that. How gorgeous. It's like, kind of like, um like wood grain that's beautiful you can use that on a layout okay so those are things that kind of um sometimes we don't think about saving but you know you can here's another thing that i like to use to save these are like stickers that i already used like these are labels and i kind of already used them it's empty as you can see the stickers are already used but I love to use this part as a layout. So that's awesome, you know, you, you, don't, you, you can kind of like give yourself some nice texture using this part as a layout or as a background or, you know, I think it looks nice. Same thing with this. This could be awesome to use as a layout or a background. And what this is, <laughs> these are the dimensions that come in here. I poked the dimensions out or the, um, what do you call them? They're not dimensions. They're, yeah, they're dimensions, they're stickies. I poke them out and I keep this part because I think that this part is awesome to use for any kind of mixed media. So just, you know, these are just ideas that I'm giving you just in case you 
maybe want to start doing some art journaling or some mixed media you know you don't have to spend a lot of money you can probably you probably already have some of this stuff at home and you know it's not really that expensive to actually do art journaling as people think it is if you you know are smart and saving your things you can definitely do it with um with very little cost okay another thing that i like to use is my filters i never throw away my filters i always save my filters they're also awesome awesome to use in your mixed media project i love using my filters as backgrounds they're beautiful it's gorgeous it has awesome texture awesome color it's just beautiful um and that's basically it guys that's all really that i kind of use when i am going to be um using my my uh, my little mixed media album or journaling book i just wanted to kind of show you guys and give you ideas of what i'm going to be using because i don't want you guys um to feel that um that i'm not you know in detail telling you in my videos what I'm using because obviously I'm not gonna be talking in my videos so you know it's just another way for you guys to get familiar with what I'm going to be using so I hope you guys are going to enjoy watching my series I hope you guys really have fun and just learn and just you know if you're scared of doing mixed media journaling don't be scared I was intimidated at the beginning when I first started doing this and then I was like, oh, the hell with it. You know what? I'm just having fun. I don't really care if I'm doing this the right way or the wrong way. As long as I'm having fun and I like how my projects turned out, who cares, right? Who really cares? So I hope I will inspire you guys to start doing some mixed media journaling and, um, and just have some fun and just enjoy. Okay, honeys, um, hopefully you will join me on my next video, which will be my first layout in my little mini, my little journaling book. And we can kind of do it together, okay? So, all right, um, I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for all your support. And um, yeah, and I'll see you soon, honeys. Have a fantastic weekend. Bye.